Uh, the Greyland Pump Track Association was really a conversation between two dads, Scott Kugler and myself, who were just in the park observing that we're, we're all the children. You know, there's, there's, it's a park for kids to play in, but there's no kids playing in it. Yeah, Paul and I got together and we thought, man, how do we do this? And pump tracks are the new phenomena um, all throughout Europe and America. So we connected with the guys in Europe, connected with the guys in the States and found out more about it. Um, and then realised that we could actually build better pump tracks than they do. So we um, contacted the local board and luckily happened upon Rob Thomas, who was just an awesome support to us the whole way through the project and is a, is a keen cyclist himself. Waitamata local board got involved uh, when I got a call from um, uh, Paul Wacker, basically saying to me, Rob, I want to build a pump track. And I said, well, what's a pump track? Um, we worked with them to secure some initial funding, a little bit of seed funding, $30,000, and then I worked really closely with them to help develop a proposition. We sort of we were really getting momentum by this stage and getting the support of the local community, and that's what sort of made it possible. Oh, look, I, th I think the end result's spectacular. Um, you know, we've, we've estimated that there'll be 50,000 kids a year, or 50,000 riders a year using the track, um, averaging about a million laps. This is where the community engage because young kids are here, so parents are here, so parents are interacting with each other, older people are interacting with younger people. It's really become much more of a community environment. Throughout that process, they kept the community engaged and we had an awesome opening day here. Um, we had uh, hundreds of kids turn out, compete against each other, win prizes. And this really has been a project delivered by the community, funded by the community, for the community.